spade for me. Now spin hard. That's what we were hopeful for. That's what we were hopeful for. Go in. Oh, oh, oh! What is up, y'all? Hope y'all having a wonderful day. We are here at the beautiful Broadmoor in Colorado Springs, Colorado, playing the West Course. This course is absolutely incredible. The views, unreal, unmatched views. We played the East Course yesterday. That's where they're gonna be hosting the 2025 Senior US Open. Beautiful course as well. But for today's video, we're gonna be playing the West Course and hopefully take it low. So we'll just jump straight into one right now, par four. Going with the four iron here, there's a bunker down the right. We wanna keep it just left of it. Shorter par four, it's kinda upper 300s. We will take a bucket of those all day long right there. Love to see it. Got 60 degree here, 100 yards. And these views here, just Join along, grab you a cup of coffee, whatever beverage of choice, and just enjoy these views out here. Let's knock this close, start with a bird. Oh, I have to say, hit that one a little heavy, unfortunately, but it's up there. All right, like I said, a little heavy, but we've got a little green to work with. Break into our left. All right, if we chip like that today, it's gonna be a good day. And as you can see right behind me is the resort. Absolutely spectacular rooms. We are staying here for a few days and this goes down as one of my favorite places in the world. Absolutely love it. Whew, I tried to slip away right there and with the par. Number two here, par four. There is a back box about 30 yards back, but not really enough room for the camera. So I just hopped up just a little closer. Got three iron here. It's kind of upper 300 yards. And we want to hug the right side of those trees you see there on the left. Or try to hit over them. All right. I did actually hit over them. I was just a little left. <laughs> All righty, this is some rough you do not want to be in. Don't miss left over here when you come play. We've got 157 up the hill. I'm going to go with a pitching wedge. Anything on the green from this slide is going to be very good. Oh, be good. Oh, it's just a little short, but out of that lie, I'll take that all day long. All right, from that lie. Like I said, take that all day long. Just off the front here, putting pretty much straight back up the hill. Unfortunately, that one was a little firm. Even par through two, we're on to number three, par four. Let's tee it high, let it fly. Stay right there. All right, it's gonna be fine. I couldn't tell, it landed in the fairway. But I couldn't tell if it hopped into the rough. It's down the left side. It did hop into the rough here, but really a good angle into the screen. Have 101 yards left. Let's knock it up there close, get our first bird of the day. Down, down. All right, it did listen to us, so I think we've got a good look up there. So there's this tower up on the mountain up there where you kind of base how the putts will break here. And it is to our left. So even though this putt looks pretty straight, it's probably breaking to the right because everything goes away from that tower. Well, that was good speed. Honestly, that didn't break even close to as much as I was thinking right there. However, good roll even through three. So here is the tower that I was talking about. See it up there. 
awesome par four right here. Straight away, going with a three iron because it's not really driver. It does tighten up up there when you get closer to the grain. Even though that was an iron off the tee, we're gonna give that a thumbs up. That was hit really well. Perfect position right here. The fairway runs out. It's a little dried kind of water way right there, but no water, it's just rough. So if you come here, wanna hit driver, you need to carry it to the next fairway. 139, I've got gap wedge, let's knock it close. Stay, stay, no. Oh my goodness. It's still moving. Wow, that's gonna be a fun putt. All right, walking up here, the pitch mark was right there, just short of the flag. And there's where it spun to. This is gonna be a very good two putt. All right, we're gonna have to give this one some pace. This is up a huge slope right here. That needed so much more pace. Oh man, I underestimated the uphill there. Well, that's gonna be the unfortunate bogey. Hate to see it. Moves us to one over. Sweet little par three right here, 147. Going with the pitch and wedge, we got a little room behind. Let's get a bounce back tweeter. Fade for me. Now spin hard. That's what we were hopeful for. That's what we were hopeful for. Go in. Oh, oh, oh! Let's go! That's my first hole in one. <laughs> on a normal round of golf. Let's go. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. That was oh fun. My gosh. I can't believe Dude, it ripped back. that was incredible. Back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I almost pulled my phone out and videoed it too. That right there was awesome. Wow. Bounce back tweet or what? Bounce back hole in one, let's go. Oh, my hand's actually shaking a little bit. We're walking up here. So it landed right back there. And here it is. <laughs> that is awesome. First hole in one on my channel for the history of my channel. I've made a hole in one on another channel, but not on my channel. So drop like down below for a hole in one here today. Share this video with your friends if you enjoy me traveling all around the world. And I'm so grateful for all of y'all's support. I got chills right now, hole in one here in Colorado. Broadmoor, that's unreal. I was about to use this golf ball. We're putting this one in the bag. <laughs> what was I thinking? All right, so we got a freshie ball. I've got to slow my heart rate down because it is going about a million miles an hour. That may have been one of the most enjoyable moments on the golf course in a long time. And we've got Andrew behind the camera out here teeing it up with me today to witness it. So we've been celebrating pretty pumped. And that is a hole in one here on the channel today. All right, calm down. We've got a lot of golf left. So let's have a good round today and uh, see if we can't take it really low. All right. That's gonna be through the fairway in the rough, but you know, it's up there and uh, fine tee shot after hole in one. All right, that was a little right. I've got 185 up the hill. I'm gonna go with an eight iron. Probably gonna jump a little bit out of the rough. Well, we got it up. All right, can't tell from here, but might be up there putting. All right, so landed kind of right side. Kicked left. This was actually a great shot from over there. Let's see if we can get a birdie after a hole in one. What a last two holes. 
let's go. Today is a great day for some pin slammers. Let's go. All right, that moves us to two under par, three under par the last two holes. That is only my second hole in one in a normal round of golf. I had a hole in one on a video with Garrett years ago where it was just how many shots to get a hole in one and eventually made one, had one over on Xperia Golf's channel. That was fun, but that was a bit of a scramble. So not a normal round of golf. And the only other hole in one that I've ever had was about six months after I started playing golf with my grandpa. That was quite the memory. One of the few rounds of golf I got to play with my grandpa. So very thankful for that. And now to share with Andrew and everyone here at the Broadmoor, because I know they all heard us. Par four, number seven. This is a really cool hole. Bends to the left, gonna go with three iron. All right, should be good right there. All right, we've got 131 here. Little into the breeze. I'm gonna go with a three quarter little gap wedge and let's see if we can't keep this birdie eagle streak, hole in one streak alive. And my reaction back on the tee a couple holes ago when I made the hole in one was probably not as crazy as most people may think. But we were at the Broadmoor and the amount of emotions that were going through my head, I was like, stay cool act like you've been here before. Don't sprint to go get it out of the hole. Just be excited, but you know, keep things together. I think we did that. That way we didn't uh, abrupt any other people's rounds out here. Let's knock this close, get another bird. Go left. Oh no. Oh no, that's gonna be a little long, unfortunately. Oof. All right, a little long here. It bounced off the back of the green. Let's see if we can't get this up and down. To be honest, you just don't want to be long here. It's about five or six feet. We'll take that all day long. All right, let's make this. That way we don't lose any of this momentum that we got going. No. I actually thought that was going a little left. All right, that's the unfortunate bogey. Moves us to one under par. Yes, one under par. I don't know, I'm still still reliving that hole in one back there. But we are one under, that's a hole in one, a birdie, two bogeys, and the gentlest of pin placements right here. All right, good par five right here. Men's a little to the right, and I'd love to get a second eagle of the day. All right, down the right side should be pretty good. All right, we got 155, slightly up the hill. I've got nine iron, let's knock it close. All right, it's up there. Can't quite tell. I'm gonna fill this divot here because you wanna make sure, take care of the course so it'll take care of you and maybe get a hole in one. Couldn't really ask for a better place to be putting from. Basically pin high and laying it a couple feet short. I fixed the pitch mark. And let's just put a good roll on this. Bummer. I wasn't leaving it short. All right, and with the pin slammer, bounce back tweeter. Back to two under. All right, we've got a good little par three here. 180 says it's playing slightly uphill. So I'm gonna go with a full eight here. All right, stop moving. Well, all right, it trundled a bit away from the hole there. All right, so we flew it pin high and then <laughs> it trundled to the right here. Probably about 25 feet. Putting back up the hill. Gonna be breaking a little to our left. Or a lot to our left. I did not give that enough credit right there. 
I really thought that was gonna play a little straighter. All right, no harm here. Making the turn, two under par. Good par five here, back up the hill. Let's tee it high, let it fly. Settle. All right, it's probably gonna be in the right rough. All righty, so unfortunately, kind of ran out of room here and in the trees a bit. Gonna have to just punch this out, probably advance it about 60 yards. All right, that's all we were looking for from there. Good punch out right there. I've got 150 playing uphill to 157. I'm gonna go with the pitch and wedge because we are at elevation and the ball really does fly here. Now that should funnel right. So I think that could be pretty good. Good distance right there. Let's roll the rock. That caught so much of the hole. Oh, I loved that putt for so long. All right, that is a five here, remain at two under. Love this par three right here. It's 190, playing downhill to 171. So we're gonna go with the nine iron. If I had two hole in ones, <laughs> that was spinning back towards the hole right there. It did stop just short, but for a second there, I was like, if we had two hole in ones in this video, wow. I've got chills just reminiscing the last one. There's where I landed and was tracking back to the hole. All righty, here we are. About three feet. Let's see if we can't roll this one in. I thought that was gonna break right. Oh man. Oh, that's two putts back to back that I hit where I wanted them though. However, very gentle pin placement here. And these views out here do not stop. What a beautiful backdrop. Par four, dog leg right, definitely not a driver here. Going with three iron. Well, it probably looked cool. It was kind of a mini stinger, but unfortunately caught it a little thin. It's gonna be in the right rough. All right, in the right rough, like I said, and I can't really go with the green because of this tree here. So I need it to fade for me. I'm gonna be playing at left edge of the green kind of, and if it fades, it fades. Oh, fade for me. All righty, left short of the green. I need to get this up and down for par. Kind of love it. Now settle. Wow. All right, I don't love it. <laughs> that thing just kept going, wow. All right, a lengthy one here for par. This would be huge for the team morale. Well, we had the line, we just need to hit it. Tower's right there. It is always gonna be slower going towards the tower. All right, that's a bogey. Look at this view right here, downhill par four just looking out over Colorado Springs. You love to see it. Got three iron here. See if we can't get a little fairway finder. All right, should be good right there. Love to see it. 86 yards here, slightly down the hill. Let's hit a good wedge shot here. All right, not our best, not our worst. We got a putt for bird. So we're working away from the mountain here. So this putt 
even though it looks uphill, it's gonna probably be pretty quick. That was a very deceiving putt. I was happy with that stroke because that was quick, even though it looked straight uphill. All right, in with par, made it one under. Really cool backdrop here on this par four and one of the tougher par fours. Kind of want to hug that left side there. That should be about perfect. Really good drive right there. I've got 108 playing uphill to like 115. So I'm gonna hit a smooth little sand wedge. Well, that'd be kind of crazy if I hold out a wedge. I mean, that bounced right around the hole. <laughs> we'll have to see. Oh, we were walking up here and for a second, that little slope was hiding it, but it unfortunately must have spun back. But all in all, solid shot. All right, straight back up the hill. Hmm. Gave it a run. All right, in with the four. One under par, four holes to play. I wanna shoot in the 60s. With making the hole in one, that would be epic. Got driver here, this is a really good par four. Kinda going straight over that bunker. Oh no. That's going right down. Okay, it's all right. Might be in the rough, but I hit it poor enough that it's okay. All right, so this is right rough. And actually you have a lot more room to the right than I thought off the tee. Not a bad place to be. I got a 60 degree, this is 132, but it is downhill and slightly helping breeze. And the ball just flies so far here. So I know. 60, 130. Okay, you know, I'm actually happy with that. I knew it was gonna be a lot to get it there, but putting up the hill. All right, about 25 feet here, definitely breaking to our right. That was so fast. Wow. That was a huge comeback putt right there for the team morale. One under, three holes remaining. Par three, 16. One like 99 from here. I've got a seven iron, it's into the breeze. Let's make a good swing. And Andrew behind the camera said, if I make birdie, he's doing 50 push-ups. So let's make him do some push-ups. I have to say, we have a very good chance of making him do some push-ups right there. All right, walking up here. So we got left to make this man do some push-ups at the Come end. Come on. All right, we got to make him do these push-ups. You're doing push-ups. <laughs> Let's go. We've got a pin slammer with that view behind. Gets us to two under. And we've got a chance to shoot in the 60s today. This man is doing some push-ups after this round. So stay tuned. Let's go. I want to thank the Broadmoor so much for having me out. This is one of my favorite places in the world. Absolutely incredible views. Two holes remaining, two under par. Par 71 is what I'm playing it. One of the holes on the front nine can be played as a par four or five. I played it as a par four. So we've got a great opportunity to shoot in the 60s. All right, I was trying to cut that corner. I think we did. That might be one of the longest drives I've hit in a minute. I know I was cutting the corner, so I was taking off a little yardage, but we have 52 yards left. And this hole from where I was playing is 469. I didn't hit it over 400, but I definitely hit it upper 300s. There was a little help and breeze, but let's get this up and down, get back to back birds. Oh my goodness. 
I just kind of nuked it. I flew it the proper distance, but unfortunately it took a big hop. All right, this is gonna be pretty quick. You absolutely love to see it. I mean, that was the purest putt I've hit all day. Let's go. This is one of my favorite golf holes anywhere in the world. Let's finish strong. Let's see if we can't get an eagle on the last. Now cut for me a little, just a little. Oh, I hit it good. I was hoping for a little more cut. Might be in that bunker. All right, so we did find the bunker and we do have a lip right here. We've got 195 yards to the hole and on a par five, you really hate to lay up. So I'm gonna kind of get smart aggressive. That's what I'm gonna call it. I'd like to hit a seven iron from here, but I'm gonna go with an eight. So even if it's a little short left, it's gonna be just fine. But I do think the eight's gonna get over this lip. Oh no. Stop. Okay. Stop short of the creek. I uh, hit that one a little heavy. Got to rake the bunkers. I've got 95 yards here. And like I said, just short of the creek, but we are safe. Let's get this up and down for three birds in a row. Oh no, that knuckled on me. All right. Oh, stop. Oh boy. We are gonna have a very difficult putt up there. Wow. All right, this is our lengthiest putt of the day. Breaking a little right and then should go back left. So it'd be huge two putt right here. It never really went back left. The pace was, was pretty good. Just kind of went right that whole way. No, that had some serious break on that short putt. The unfortunate three putt to end it. However, we did shoot in the 60s and now we're gonna cut to Andrew doing some push-ups. For you, buddy. Good round. I appreciate it. Hey, he's a man of his word. Dude. <laughs> well, that was so much fun. Hope y'all enjoyed coming along. As for me, Andrew behind the camera, the Broadmoor, we'll see you when we see you. Peace.